this one, um, we have something in our numerator, but in our numerator is not under our radical, and <clears throat> it's not under our radical, nor is it in our um, is it in our denom is it in our denominator? So we really actually don't care about what's up there. Only thing we care about is restriction number one, which says x minus four has to be greater than or equal to zero, and restriction number two, where x minus four um, cannot equal zero. Right? I mean that's it. That's all. You take whatever's under the radical greater than or equal to zero. Whatever's in your denominator. Oh, I'm sorry. Actually, it looks like this. Whatever's in your denominator, right? And you set that, you know, cannot equal zero. Or you set it equal to zero, it doesn't really matter really mathematically. Okay, so now we just go ahead and solve. Plus four, plus four, x is greater than or equal to four. Okay, over here, square root both sides. Zero squared is just zero. Okay. So now let's do that. Let's do the number line again. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So we go to four and we create a circle. Based on this, is four included? Yes. yes but over here, four is not included. So we're going to leave it open. Then it's saying that for all the values of four that are greater than or equal to four. So that's going to be values that are going again to the right. Now the difference between this equation and that equation is the smallest number again is four, right? There's nothing to the left of four. Yes? Why, um, number two, why is it radical x minus four? Because rem remember for restriction number two, that's whatever is in the denominator oh. has to be, cannot, or cannot equal zero, right? So now all we're simply going to do, so we have four comma infinity. So over here, 1 was included, but now 4 is not included. So therefore, now we're going to use a parenthesis. OK? Yes? So we're not going to solve x squared. It doesn't matter, though. It's not part of any restriction. Remember, the restrictions are it has to be positive under a radical, and the denominator can't be 0. So this has nothing to do with it, right? I mean, it's, it's there, but it has, nothing, it has nothing to do with the domain, or at least restriction.